Okay, in the third video, how to, I'm going to show you how to approach um, Prague 1 whenever you use Codio. So, let's go back to the assignment. We're not going to really do Prague 1. I'm going to show you how you would complete a project in Codio. So, we're going to use this code change.cpp. What we're going to do is we're going to take this file and we're going to place it into Codio. We're going to run it in Codio and then we're going to save what we have in Codio and show you how to submit this file. So let's uh, go to Codio. And when we start Codio, I want to go and look at my projects and we're going to create a new project for C++ and the project name is going to be PROG1 and the description is this is a sample program change.cpp to demonstrate use of Codio and submission of assignment in in, come on now, in Unix. Okay, so we're going to create it. And now we have a project called Prog1. Now we can um, Add file, new file, and the name of this file is going to be change.cpp. Notice that this is the editing area for change.cpp and we have nothing here. So we're going to go over here and just copy this. How do we copy it? Control A. Control C, that copies all of this. We're going to paste it in here. And we're going to make one small change, and that's all, not a whole lot. The, pro the assignment ID for this is going to be demo. Oops, demo. Notice that this documentation header appears in all assignments you submit. What goes as the author is your Unix login followed by your full name. Make sure you do that. All right, so with this, we are going to um, create a, called tools, we're gonna to create a terminal. And the terminal is the place where we actually make the compilation occur. So we have your source file, and we have the area where we can manipulate your source file, such as compiling it. The command for compiling is G++, and I must give the name of the file, which is change.cpp. All right? We can see what files are here. Now, I really need you all to stop, stop being afraid of Unix. There's five commands you need to know, at least, not too many. One is G++ because that allows you to compile a program to make sure it works in the secure shell. Second command is LS. It allows you to see all the files that are in your current working area or directory. And right now we say we have the file change.cpp, which is a source file. Source file means it's intended for humans. You can read it. We also have the file a.out, which is actually was produced when you did the compiling. I will show you a different form of compiling. Notice the up arrow works. I can say compile and name the resulting file um, c.run. When I do an ls to see what the files are, then now all of a sudden I have two files. Apparently they're covered, they're colored green because these files can be executed. 
So how do you execute a file? Well, it's got to be executable, and Codio means it shows up as green. In the secure shell, the file will show up with a star or an asterisk at the end of the file name. The asterisk is not part of the file name. It's an indicator that that file is executable. So let's just execute it. To execute it, say dot slash and the name of the executable file run. What's the price of the item? 2525. What's the tax rate? 12%. How much was given by the customer? $30. And we have some output. So it looks like this works okay. One thing looks a little fishy, and that is the date, the copyright date is an old program, is not current. Make sure all your copyrights say 2016. Now what have we done here? We've kind of shown in Codio that the code that we are working on, it is not Prog 1, but it shows you that it appears to work. When it appears to work, then it's time for us to take the, the um, program that works over here and put it into a place where you can submit it in the secure shell. So what's one way of doing it? Copy the file over here. Control A, Control C gets a copy of the file. Then I can go to Unix and there's one more command you need to know. It's called Pico. Pico is an editor like Notepad. So what's the name of the file we want? The name of the file should say change.cpp uh oh, yeah. When we open it up, it has nothing in it, so we can paste what we have. So we can just say paste. Oops. How do you paste? You gotta say paste. So now we have all the stuff we had in Codio. Make sure that's right now. A um, couple things to note. This is at the bottom of the file. If I want to go up to the previous page, I do a Control Y. Control Y. So that's the top of the file. Control V takes you down the bottom of the file. So it looks like we have all the file here. To save, how do we save? Control X. Control X. We're going to say save it, yes. We're going to keep the name. Now, show you something. Over here in our terminal, we compile the file just by typing this command. How do we do it in the secure shell? The very same thing. And it compiles. So it appears that if it compiles in Codio, it's going to compile over here. And let's just try to run it over here. How do we run it? Dot slash C dot run. And 25, 25, 12%. Uh, and the person gave me $30. And that's, so it appears to work in both places. Now we can submit it. How do we submit it? Okay. In the repository, if we do C help, it tells us three things, two things. You got two repositories, a submission repository, a public repository. Which one do we need now? The submission repository, because you're trying to submit your file for grading. So what's the, um, commands for this. In the public repository there's only four commands. In both in both repositories these are common. Status means give me the, a list of the names of the files in the repository. Copy means copy a specific file. Mcopy says copy one or more files that meet a pattern. And the mview says view the content of one or more files. So for submit, what is the command? CS submit. So let's try it. If you say CS submit, it's going to say, whoops, you didn't do it right, but here's how to do it right. So when you submit, you need an assignment ID and you need a file name. You can submit more than one file at a time, but you need an assignment ID. The assignment ID that was in this program, remember here? The assignment ID that we put in is called demo. So let's submit this thing with the assignment ID demo. Submit demo, followed by the file name. What file name? Change.cpp. All right? And when we do that, it's going to say, <clears throat> notice this. This little symbol, this visual says, this file 
was placed into a repository for you. When it went into the repository, it assumed the name change.cpp dash the login. So when you submit, you will see your login here. Okay. It says, do you want to check the program? Checking the program really means that uh, I have a grader for, for most of your assignments that will compile your program and run it and tell you a score. It will also tell you what you did right, what you did wrong. Okay. And that's another topic that we'll get to. So in this case, there is no greater. So we say no. And if we now say CS status, and I'm looking for CPP, this will show you the CPP files that you have submitted. We just submitted change.cpp. All right. So, okay, so I think with that, we've shown you how to do what you got to do. So let's make a list of the units commands that we use. We use um, um, Pico, we use G++, we use LS, what else? We use, these are the Unix commands. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we use repository commands. We said CS submit. And we use CS status. Okay. So, is that all? Yeah. And we also use the command to execute. In Unix, we said, how do you execute? Well, you can execute by saying dot slash and then an executable. Did we say that? And we saw that when you compile, you uh, can... Control the name of the executable by saying G++, the source file, followed by dash zero, followed by the name of the executable that you want. If you don't do that, the executable is automatically named A dot out. So that's our first lesson. And with that, we're going to stop. Notice that you're going to do the same kind of thing here when you uh, complete your assignment. Whether you use Codeo or whether you use cpp.sh, the process of getting your file over to Unix can be as easy as opening up the file and pasting uh, what you copied from the web uh, IDE. With that, we're going.